is thus ironic. But the entire spectacle of the fox hunting field, streaming across the countryside, is often utterly dependent upon another animal of the humblest appearance and origins, the terrier. The word terrier is derived from the Latin terra, which means earth. The fox is a creature of the earth, denning and hiding in burrows scratched out by other animals. And it is to the earth he usually goes when pursued. And there is no hound, however noble, capable of bolting him from his burrow once he gets to ground. For this, we need another creature of the earth, a type of dog traditionally bred and kept by the most humble of Britain's inhabitants. The British Isles are the home of at least a dozen different types and breeds of terrier, from the familiar and beloved Scottish terrier, to the tough Lakeland terrier, to the large and formidable Airedale. The traditional roles of all these dogs was to deal in a straightforward and combative fashion with many different types of animals that were thought of as vermin. Rats, weasels, badgers, otters, and so forth. Perhaps the most specialized and the best known of these types of earth dogs was, and still is, the fox terrier. This term, fox terrier, is most commonly used for a specific breed of dog that is registered with the kennel clubs of the United Kingdom, America, Canada, and other countries. In another irony, we must acknowledge that this term hardly fits the breed, because no animal resembling the modern fox terrier ever went to earth after a fox. These animals have been bred for so many decades, strictly for show purposes, that they only superficially resemble the original fox hunting dogs from which they were derived. It is a simple fact that the average fox terrier of today is far too large and deep of chest to follow a fox to ground. Such an animal is a fox terrier in name only. To see a true fox terrier, we must look at another modern breed. Just like the Kennel Club Fox Terrier, this breed stems from the working fox terrier of the 18th and 19th centuries. But it has kept the attributes of body and character that made its ancestors so valuable in the hunting field. Like its forefathers.